We interrupt this regularly scheduled programming to bring you continuing coverage on breaking news we had earlier this afternoon. Somerset County Sheriff's Department and the Maine State Police confirmed the 29-year-old suspect, John Williams, who's been on the loose for four days, now is in authorities' custody. In their third consecutive Super Bowl appearance, the two out of three wins, an absolutely incredible way to win this game. We talked to defensive coach Brian Flores. So, Christina, a quick question for you. Did police give any indication as to who those people were that brought Lenore back to the police department? I know that a lot of people met, uh, mentioned that their usage rates differed widely from 2017 to 2018. Is there any way to explain those differences in those bar graphs that people get on their bills? We begin with developing news tonight out of Lewiston, where police are investigating a report of a suspicious item found in a women's locker room at Bates College. Bates College staff confirmed that a women's basketball coach reported the item to campus security on Friday afternoon. A woman and her unborn child are dead tonight after a snowmobile crash in Greenwood. Elizabeth Abelson from Gloucester, Massachusetts was snowmobiling along with her husband on a trail near Irish Neighborhood Road shortly after 11 o'clock this morning. We're learning more about the 44-year-old man living in Auburn named Stephen Downs, who was arrested Friday in connection with the murder of a woman in Alaska more than 25 years ago. All right, well, it doesn't really feel like winter today, but thanks to three inches of snow on Wednesday, one of Maine's premier ski resorts is now open for the season. New Center Maine's Hannah Deneen was at Sunday River for its opening weekend. Well, if you're skiing in a t-shirt today, tomorrow, definitely not the case, right? I think that they're going to like the forecast. I was looking at this tweet from the National Weather Service in Caribou, yeah. and they said they've had at least an inch of snow on the ground since November 10th. It's 119 days. Yeah. And in order to break a record, they would need to go for 163 days. So that means April 22nd, they need to have an inch of snow on the ground yeah. consistently. I bet they can do it. You Their snow so? depth, I think, is still like over 40 inches in oh, most yeah. spots. So yeah. they've had tons. It'll take a while to melt, is what you're saying. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I know you're a golf guy. Yeah. And if I were a golf course owner, I'd be plowing as much snow as I possibly <laughs> could, getting ready for later in the week. Yeah.